I will take this opportunity to thank you for, for coming to bid the final farewell at this official funeral service for Minister Bomo Edna Edith Molewa. I have had my opportunity to do a eulogy to my fellow chancellor of my alumni, Sefako Makhatu University, to my sister, my comrade, to a very caring person, diligent, hardworking, very courageous, a diplomat, a remarkable person, and indeed, an immaculately, always immaculately well-dressed lady. I must say I had to dig deep into my wardrobe to look at what would make me best dressed to give her send off. I tried to go to a number of saloons to look at uh, what I can put on my nails, my manicules, and pedicules. And I know I'm not even a fraction of the beauty that she emulated and uh, the dress code that uh, she always had. I think we are here to salute a remarkable person. And as we mourn, let us be comforted by the remarkable life she lived, serving her nation and doing us proud. To the families, Meti and Mulewa, we want to thank you for giving us the opportunity to share your loved ones with us. I'm going to ask and invite Honorable Premier David Makura, the Premier of the province of Gauteng, to do the welcoming remarks. Members of the bereaved families of Mulewa and Meti, His Excellency the President of the Republic of South Africa, Pre President Cyril Ramaphosa, Deputy President, former Presidents Mbeki, Mutlante, and Zuma, the Speaker of the National Assembly and the National Chairperson of the NCOP, ministers, deputy ministers, premiers, MECs, and mayors, members of the clergy, and members of the judiciary, veterans of our liberation struggle, members of the national executive committees of the ANC and the ANC Women's League, leaders of the alliance, leaders of other political parties, the Chief of the South African National Defence Force and Heads of Services, Foreign Ministers, Ambassadors, High Commissioners, Fellow Mourners. On behalf of the government and the people of our province, I welcome you all to this solemn occasion on which we are here to bid our final farewell to Minister Ed Namulewa, an outstanding servant of the people of South Africa and a global campaigner for peace, environmental justice, and the protection of biodiversity. Comrade Edna had an extraordinary ability to turn every responsibility she was assigned into a portfolio of significance. She approached every portfolio or position she was elected into or deployed to with a great sense of duty. She was profoundly conscientious and had this distinctive commitment 
to excellence wherever she was serving, whether as a teacher, as a trade union leader, as a freedom fighter, as a feminist, as a leader of the ANC and the ANC Women's League, as an MEC in the Northwest Province and the Premier, as a minister, and as a global campaigner for climate justice. Every government portfolio in which she served became something to turn attention to. Every subcommittee of the NEC of the ANC she chaired became an important subcommittee once she was there. There are many qualities we admired from her as a leader. She was always ready to learn. She was excellence personified. She was a hard worker. She spoke her mind on every issue without hesitation. With her, what you saw is what you would get. She did not bear any grudges. She disagreed openly, after which it was done. We loved her for being an open book. She was a wonderful human being. On this occasion, we convey our condolences to the Meti and Mulewa family and would like to thank them for sharing her with us. We will always remember her. May her beautiful soul rest in eternal peace. Robala Kahozo Mewaruna. Thank you.